Alright, welcome back to my Let's Play series on Little Nightmares. So, last we checked off, uh, I realized how short the first chapter was, but I think it should be a lot longer now. Because there's a lot more to do per chapter, and there's a lot of, I don't know, mechanics and moments of being spookified, because this game still has to be kind of scary. Uh, so we're just going up these stairs. There's not much to say to it. Uh, ah. Alright. That's a little nice house. This is a very weird looking house, honestly. Alright, got this key. The second game did a lot better job with the key situation. Ooh, wait, can I break this? No, okay. There's like a floor thing underneath, I guess. But I won't be able to see it for a while, so. Oh. It's open. Thank you. Alright, time to open this baby up. So now we got this guy. We throw him around and stuff. The uh, Toy Story 3 monkey that no one likes. Thank you. Now we're just gonna go through an elevator ride, I guess. Hungry again. You just ate. You just ate. That's a cool fan. I don't even know why they have that there, but sure. Such an on this side, yeah. dying for just one minute, okay? You're gonna make it. Jeez. Alright. So, there's this very obvious trap, right? Can I even close this cage by itself? I don't think I'll be able to. I think this is like... Oh, I'm too weak. I can't push a simple gate. But I can eat this meat that's in here. Can I? Thank you. There's like something up here. Don't worry. I'll see it. Oh. Ah, uh, no, it's fine. Yeah, we get captured. It's, it's over. It's over now. So that guy, he's there. Weird arms, but alright. So now we're stuck here. There you go. So now, we've got this little guy. This is painfully taking forever. Okay. I was 
swing back and forth because this door is going to close immediately. Well, not immediately, but I'd say shortly after we do this. And we're stuck here, right? This room has nothing except this part. So it's weird because you can actually, like... This is a very agile kid. That's all I'm going to say. Like, you can climb around and stuff. Like, Gregory could never do such thing. If he could... Man, I can tell you, Security Breach would be a much shorter game. There he is. The first major, uh... I wouldn't say bad guy. I don't want to classify him as a bad guy, but I would classify him as uh, someone I don't like. So... So here's how it's gonna work, right? So this guy is wearing a blindfold, because he actually is blind. And, um, you know the, the whole thing about how, like, people who lose one of their senses, usually their other senses get amplified? Yeah, in this case, this guy might be blind, but his hearing is, like, super incredible. And he also has long arms. So, if he hears loud noises, constant loud noises, he might already know where you are. So, he's blind for now, which means we don't really have to worry about hiding that much, but still... Creepy. His only job is to take all these kids, wrap them up, put them in these hooks, and those hooks go somewhere else, I guess. I just want him to stop instigating for a second so we can actually... Bro, give up. Just go back to doing your job. But see, in this case, this game works because, unlike Security Breach, these guys are actually programmed to work with their environments, not against... Alright. Oh yeah, by the way, there's some, like, mechanics in this game. For example, like, these wooden floorboards are usually very squeaky. But, uh... Oh, don't like that. Unless... Ugh. But these, like, cloth things that cover it, uh, make it less squeaky. Bro, can you stop instigating for a minute? Alright, fine. Alright. Oh, crud, I don't know whether to... You done? Alright, you are done. Go back to doing your crummy job. I wouldn't say crummy, that's a bit too rude. Alright, later. Shoes everywhere. Yeah, they used to terrify so many people, just that. It's kind of scary. Now we're gonna go. There's secrets, and I would love to show them, but I just kind of want to beat this as soon as possible. Alright, so this place, it never gets explained, but there's a shoe monster that lives here. Again, no explanations, it just, it just happens. Actual shoe monster. I guess he completely stopped or something. See, it's like well designed. They actually take stuff into consideration when making this game. Pipe noises. Alright, time to run. We're getting out of here. We're gonna hide in this little corner. So we're back to where we started, in the elevator thing. He was looking for us. Ugh. 
Ugh. Very gross looking. He looks like a defunct like park ranger. Mixed with some horrifying experiment. So this this room doesn't look like there's much, right? The door's closed. How do we get out? I'm just gonna gently Yeah. So there's a floorboard here. Creaky floorboard, so we're just gonna push this. Oh, sorry. Now oh, that guy's up there. I can light him up, right? Should be more visible with the lighting. Kinda. Alright, we're gonna wait till he enters the other room, and then I'm gonna go crazy with the distractions. So because we know that this guy causes distractions. That's right. Get out of there. This is weird. Alright. Oh my gosh. Well, he's not that terrifying now. Let me go through that door thingy. He know, like he memorized the layout of this place pretty well. For someone who's blind. He's right up there. I don't know what this place is all about. Alright, so this next part is kind of annoying, but we'll do it. Not see me. We're gonna wait until the clock chimes. <sighs> Did not like that. Chime the clock. Ah. Yup, yup, we're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. It doesn't matter. I'm out of here. I'm not. I don't know, it is still kind of stressful. I just I just haven't played this game forever. So now we're in this library. Kind of cool. Well, some books fall off, but that's fine. Barely got on the other side, so. This happens. But, all right, we're waiting on him. To just, yep. Luckily, this isn't like Roxy when she's blind, because when Roxy's blind, she's just annoying. But at least this guy has actual like integrity and stuff. So we're just going to. This guy without any major troubles. Very nice. I regret doing that. Uh, just don't instigate. Okay. Why is there a candle down there? Can that just burn this entire place down to the ground? Okay, can I just can I grab it from from this? Oh, I hate this. I hate it because I know he's here. Oh my gosh, my guy, you literally cannot be more annoying than this.
All right. So now, over here, we're going to get this key. And the only way to exit this room is to distract him with some TV. That's the least distracting one, I think. At least the least annoying one. The first one's the most annoying. Look at the TV, look how pretty it is. With all of its black and white legacy, I guess. Black and white style. Yeah, we're just gonna slowly sneak by. Is there a jar there? Can you get out of the way? Thank you. All right. I don't like that. Yup, I'm running. I'm making a run for it. I know he's gonna try to get me, so. Barely. Alright. Take this minecart with us. fact that she has to stop like that. Alright. So this is where the game gets kind of scary. It's ah, gonna get me. Now for his boss fight, which is really short. Well, not really short, but it's not hard either. Okay. Well, I did that to myself. All right. Step two. Or second try, at least. Alright. So we're just gonna make sure this cage falls down. So we can finally just get out of here. And... We're gonna hear some terrible screams. I think with that, the chapter should be over. So, uh... Alright. So now we're awoken, and we finished the last chapter. So, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.